Like how you mixed up. All right, right. moving along. It's this still next fun. super fight is No Gi in the blue corner from Toronto top team, Hussein Hazime. Ooh. opponent back for a third time from 10th Planet Etobicoke, Cesar Hulk Bonilla. Aaron, did I hear you say, where's the beef? Because there's a whole oh, lot of beef yeah. on the mats right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are now, we have a heavyweight matchup, no gi. Here we go, six minutes of fun. Let's do this. Right, I think both men are gonna look to find out, okay, who's gonna establish control first, looking for that hand fighting. And then we got a little head and head collar Go ties. Ahead. Both are looking for inside control, looking to hang on the head, and looking to potentially set up a takedown. Okay. I think at the end of the day, it's going to be who makes the first move, especially in this type of matchup. Um, I do not want to be on the bottom. That's for sure. With either one of these yeah. competitors. Aaron never wants to be on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Both are looking to get inside control, looking to hang on the head, looking to change levels, potentially take a shot. One minute in, they're both they're still feeling each other out here. So we're looking at mm -hmm. someone. Yep, there's the shot. with a nice Caesar shot. Caesar with a good He's on the defense. Head. Caesar's trying to control and they're trying to wrestle up. There we go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if Hussein tries to take another shot like that. Obviously, it was a really good sprawl. Very good Caesar. sprawl by Caesar. Caesar. Or maybe looking to potentially maybe change strategy and maybe try to set up an upper body takedown and try mm -hmm. to get two underhooks, maybe try to take them down that way instead versus if you're taking a shot on the lower body and the legs, you could leave your head exposed. Caesar seems to be the one trying to push in the action. Yep. Um, I'm going to see if Hussein now he wants to try and change up his strategy a little bit. Both are still looking to try to get inside control, looking to try to set up a takedown. Hussein controlling the wrist, controlling the head, and looking to try to get inside. Using the forearm as a post to attempt to try to get inside space. And maybe try to set up another shot or maybe an upper body throw. He currently has an overhook. So he's working the underhook. And they both di both disengage. So we're about so three minutes, 30 seconds yeah, left. And we still haven't hit the floor yet. It's been really more of an upper body position. Oh, here comes Very the shot. Nice shot. Nice and shot. And trying to go right for the strict pass right over. And they're going to end up out of bounds in about, yep, right about now. They're going to have to reset into they're the middle of the mat. currently in about the fourth row, and they need to reset <laughs> into the center of the mats. Yeah, Same a with a very nice very time good shot. shot. No, great shot. Punched right through the middle and was able to pass right to side control right through that guard. All right, so establishing to in his two points plus his three for the plus pass. Plus the guard pass. Scene's up 5 nothing currently. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. I don't think Mike is going to give him the uh, pass points. I think because it ended up out of bounds. Maybe because it potentially so, ended up out of so bounds. So now it's just a 2 got nothing. So. He's got a neon belly position uh, that he's looking to score an additional for, two, that which he does successfully. Points. There we go. Caesar's flying his back. He needs to start creating some angles to try to re either regain his guard or potentially get an underhook and try to wrestle up. Yeah. Caesar right now is just flat on his back. He needs to either start to move and get to his side or, again, change those angles. He needs to get his hands inside and he needs to start framing. That seems doing that really good heavy pressure on the head, heavy pressure on the chest, and just controlling that hip line. 
think Hussein's looking to potentially mount. Oh, Hussein and now Hussein left. goes to the wrestle side, to the side. Oh, and he gets one hook, double hook. Two hooks are in now, and he's taking his back. He's looking to lock him up, Four trying points. to control that head position. He's looking to hand fight, strip the hands away from the neck, and potentially look for a choke. But Caesar sees that coming, and he has both hands on Hussein's choking arm. Uh, his hand's got a really good body position. His head is nice and tight to Caesar's. Caesar's trying to climb up, but Hussein's not having any of it. He pushes him that foot on the hip and just trying to control that hip on him. Yep. He needs the hand fight now to really get Caesar's hands down. He's trying to he's use trying his to legs isolate to that. isolate. Oh, he's trying to try and isolate that arm, and he is just about to do it. Oh, and he's back to the hand fighting again. Breno Demiri is a uh currently cornering Hussein. He's giving us some very good advice on the back, trying to get him to... to oh, and, and Caesar finish. spins out, Caesar and here we go. Very nice escape, yeah. turning into the guard. There we go. So now he's got a minute 20 to get to work, so he's got to start to move now. Hussein keeping the guard closed now. Caesar needs to get that guard open. He needs to start moving. Time is yes. not on his side here. He's not on his side, and he's got to start going. So we got about a minute left. So now here Caesar goes, and he's starting to spin out. And he comes up. Oh, oh, and out of bounds, and they'll reset into the middle. Time is on. So they're starting from a standing neutral position, and here we go. So Caesar now has to – he's got 50 seconds of work with a guard pull. Hussein is just looking for it. Nice, dry, nice. aggressive pass. Oh, and he pulls it beneath. Scores another advantage. I think Caesar is starting to uh, realize the time is not his friend, and he's going to have to get going. He needs to, he needs to get into that lockdown like he did uh, the first in his first oh, Asian Jiu-Jitsu match, match. Yes, against Gabriel Rujo. Yes, he needs to get that lockdown. He needs to start stretching him out. But once again, time's not on his side, and Hussein's staying very heavy with the cross face and the underhook. He is looking for that leg. He's just looking to hold on to me, potentially just right at the time here. We're about eight seconds left. Caesar still is trying to and fly. I think Caesar is unfortunately out of time here. And that is it. And that is a win for Hussein at eight nothing point advantage. Very good. Your winner by points, Hussein Hazime. All right, congratulations, brother. Good for you, man. Now, rolling with you, it literally feels like rolling with a truck, right? But now you had another truck. Like, so I noticed um, you were, the, the hand fighting, um, the head snap downs, uh, that, that was pretty cool. Well, like, were you using that strategy more to tire him out or to maybe catch him off balance? A little bit of both. I've trained with him before, and I know he loves that electric chair. I'm trying to avoid that at all cost, and it worked. So I tried to stand as much as possible, get a little time, and see how many points I can score. Yeah, and uh, I also noticed uh, you had a really, really nice connection with your coach, Breno, there. Um, it was like listening to a dude playing video games, right? So uh, t talk to me about the, the coaching and uh, that connection you have with, uh, with Breno. Well, Breno's the man with him every day and not even not even a debate the best in Canada by far and you guys will see today later on awesome well congratulations Cesar Cesar I, I'm glad I'm glad you stuck around yeah I was I was gonna me mess my motion to you to stick around uh, are you looking to be like the four five six time ace jiu-jitsu pro cup competitor we you're super entertaining to watch, so I hope to see you almost every single event. Yeah, as long as I get the opportunity to, you'll see me here. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Keep on plugging away, man. You have anything to say? You have any? Uh, you have an event to promote uh, pretty soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so March 11, uh, myself, Michael Brakefield, and a few people from uh, Tenth Line Atomico are hosting uh, our first uh, quintet event. So. March 11th at Battle Arts Academy. Please come out and check it out. Amazing, thank you so much.